So I'm just going to give it a minute, I've come back on live to show you something else. <clears throat> got a bit of a sore throat today because of my allergies because I went out shopping earlier. I didn't go for these, I got these yesterday the other day but I forgot to show them. <clears throat> so I went shopping earlier to Kaufland. I've got a bit of a sore throat from the allergies because my car was covered in yellow pollen. Because all the trees are shedding... Um, yellow pollen so i just wondered if helen's going to come online i'm not sure if she is or not I'll just get a drink so i want to talk about what to use in baking so i do use dates and i've used um pistachio so i want to show you this this is um some other kind of dates that i got so the last time i used dates um i don't know if you can see that let me shove it a bit back was iranian dates <clears throat> So this time I've got some Saudi dates. So you're probably wondering why I've got Saudi dates. Well, Saudi dates come in all different forms and shapes and sizes. So this one I got is um, imported by a group called Tiber Group. So it says it's called, let me see what it says, Agina dates. I don't know what kind of dates are Agina dates. but Normally, the ones that I like to have are called Medjdool dates and they're quite big. Well, these are about that size. But the quality of the ones that I have are a dark, more of a dark black colour. These are like a brown colour. So these are great for baking. What I'll do is just slice them up and then just make them smaller and um, use them to make a date cake. So, I'll just talk about what where they're from. So it says it's from a factory called... Al Taka Al Masa Dates Factory, and that's the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in Borida. And it says just leave them cool and dry by a temperature of 18 centigrade. And it's called Kodari Dates, and it's got a quality guarantee at the top, and it says premium guaranteed as well. So the nutritional values, well, obviously, it's going to have sugar in it because it's a fruit. So the carbohydrate and the sugar content is 71.4 grams. The uh, egg white is basically protein, 1.6 grams. Salt is 0 0.13 grams. And fat is 0 0.2 grams. So if you suffer from diabetes, I suggest um, you don't eat too much of this. You just use it in moderation in baking. But if you eat dates, just have one or two dates a day. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was these, which are um, dried figs. Um, because they're not in season, so it's best to have dried fruits. So you can use these in your baking. So these are from Turkey, which is another country I support. Because I have followers from Turkey and some friends. So I'm just trying to read the writing because it's very tiny. So it says... Kiri Gulu Tarim. Oh, it's so hard to read this. In Aden, Turkey. Right, let's see if they've got some more information on the side. Well, there's very little to read. Gold, Gold Deer is the brand because the plastic's hard to read it. Gold Deer is the since 1985, and the brand is Gold Deer. And it's um, produced under a brand. See if I can read the writing. Oh, it just says made in Turkey on that bit. So it says is let me kayet. And then it says Turkey. Produce of Turkey. And it says keep away from sunlight and in a dry, cool place. Under 12 degrees. And it says Urun Lermiz. Well, I don't know what that means. So it's sun-dried figs, and there it's got some writing in Chinese as well as Arabic on the side. I don't know if you can read that there. If I focus it, you can see it. So if anybody can read Arabic there, you can read it there. And there's the Chinese or the Japanese writing there as well. So it says, Suha fig, figa suzona, fihi seki. I think that might be Japanese, I'm not sure, fihi seki. So on the bottom, it's got the quality... Markings TCS ISO 9001 to 2008 quality markings T um, 
ISO 2, 22,000 quality mark 0090. So this factory works to the quality standards. And the best before date is, um, so look. So the crop was, the crop was from last year, 2020, and it's a class one product. But it doesn't say, I mean, it should have had the best before date somewhere. I did see it earlier. Oh, maybe it's on the top. Yeah, it's on the top. Best before. So it's manufactured on 02 2021 and best before 02 2022. Let's look on the dates. What it says on there. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 2012 2022. Best before date. It doesn't say when it was packed, though. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it was packed last year. Because it's usually in the summertime when they pack them. It doesn't say pack date anywhere. So, yeah, that's just two tips for baking. You can also eat them as well, but I got them for baking. So it's a different kind of ingredient. So, 5D Madness is on there and Rob Bean as well. So do you have any questions before I go? So I just wanted to do that quick live just to show you. So I was talking about the dates and the figs to use in baking. So if you have any questions, you can write it on the IG Live TV. I'll also put it onto YouTube because I don't know how long the IG TV lasts for. So these two products, this one is from Turkey, dried figs. And this one is from Saudi Arabia, the dates. So you can eat them just as a snack with tea or coffee. Or you can put them into baking like I do and then enjoy the cake or whatever it is that I'm, like I make with tea and coffee as well. <laughs> so, because then Ramadan's coming up, so these these dates and things you eat anyway with Ramadan, you break your fast with dates anyway. So, yeah, it's coming up. Let me just check the calendar. So the calendar I've got, it says it starts on the 13th of April. So the first, um, well, could it could be the day before or could be the day after, so I'm not sure yet. So we'll find out when the moon, when the moon gets announced by Saudi Arabia. So I'll be doing another live soon when Helen comes back to me. Because I have a magazine to show you as well. And then Helen's got some things to show as well. So thank you for watching.